Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you're honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave it up to you. Why does it sound so girly, but they keep saying he? It's weird. I, I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Who the fuck is this? Oh! Oh my god! Metaton! Metaton, are you? Thank god. It's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I, I mean, hey, it's just... It's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you mess it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Oh, man. I better get to save. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. She's coming with me now? So, you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be... You must be pr pretty excited about all that, huh? You'll finally... You'll finally get to go home. W wait. I mean, um... I... I was just going to, um... Say goodbye, and... I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I probably should have gone back and saved. Hopefully it gives me a place to save. Dude, give me a save, please. Okay, thank god. Oh, uh, let's just see what happens and then we can go back and fucking stock up on shit first. What's over here? It's so quiet. Oh my god. So quiet. What's happening? It's so quiet. Can you guys hear me? It's another save. Save. It's my home! The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. It's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. Room under renovations. There's a key. Oh shit, a fight! Long, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages say, It's a nice day today. The ink is almost wet. Still almost wet. It's a bureau. Uh, there's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs, 98. It's a king-sized bed. I can't sleep and, like, regain my vagina. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Take it. You're carrying too much. Fucking cocksucker. Fucking dog residue. Oh, I got dog salad. Alright, take the locket. Will you take it? Take it. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Take it. You got the worn dagger. Okay. Item. Info. Heart locket. Armor. It says best friends forever. Aww. Alright. Let's wear the heart locket. Use you equip the heart locket. Item. Warren Dagger info. Warren Dagger weapon attack 15. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. Use. So that's better than the stuff I was actually wearing, right? Stained apron. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? Do I get to sleep here? It's a twin size bed. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. What a comfortable bed! If you laid down here, you might not ever get up. Asserol, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. 
Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated it, the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's like some awesome story, man. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a note. Howdy! Help yourself to anything you want. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. The stovetop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up receipts for butterscotch pie. You unlocked the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 2001X. A, cir a date is circled on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Aw, oh, man. Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Are they gonna kill him? The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't. He didn't, did he? But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. Will let us go, will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. It's just a place to save. Wait, no it's not. This is like the actual castle of Ascor. It's Sands! So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments you will meet the king. Together. You will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. Well, I only fucking killed like one person, so... When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? 
And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. I'm thinking about it. I'm not gonna fight Sans. Like, what the fuck? Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you're honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave it up to you. Throne room. Damn, dude. What's over here? What's going down here? Am I just leaving now? What the hell are these? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Tara. It's empty. What the hell? There's a coffin for me down there? Holy shit. Alright. Dum de dum. Oh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... He realized I'm a human. Oh! I so badly want to say, Would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. It's a throne. Oh man, you guys. How tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. You're filled with DETERMINATION! Is that an acronym as well? Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Damn, dude. This motherfucker is hot! There is no mercy.